Hey, how's it going? I've uh, got a couple requests for guys asking me, along with my mask reviews, to do one of my uh, chainsaws. And while I can't really do a review on it, I'll uh, kind of do like an overview. This one here, this is a, uh, this is what I call the Tinker Special. This one's a little different uh, than my normal Excalibur chainsaws, in that uh, this one all the all of the brass is fully polished to uh, mirror shine. I mean. You, you can see a reflection in it. Hello. All of the uh, the silver parts, the chrome parts, are actually chrome paint. You see a reflection in that too. Uh, normally, you know, the, the silver is kind of dulled, and uh, the brass as well on your normal screen accurate Excalibur. But this one is a uh, something I wanted to do, kind of as a special edition. Something if uh, Tinkerbell maybe would have made Junior another saw, other than the one that he did make for him, if he would have had maybe a little bit more time or a second try at it, something a little little better than normal. Um, all of my saws I take from the ground up, uh, take just a used saw, usually get them off eBay, and uh, I spend hours, hours and a couple days cleaning before I even start prepping. And then I, you know, of course I prep it and prime and then sand, wet sand, and then paint and clear coat. So my saws are, they're made to withstand some abuse. I do uh, what I call like a display one. And it's kind of, it's not clear coated. So, you know, if you get on there and you, you rub on one spot for a long time, it will, will show that it will reflect it and if you spill gas on it it probably will come off it's made for more of guys that just want to put it in their room in their collection room and uh, show it off and then i also make what's called a workhorse that's uh like this one this one's been clear coated i can dump gas on this uh kind of just it's like a car i mean it's it's automotive clear coat is what it is and it won't if it does scratch, you can buff it out. It will, like I said, hold up to gas, oil, grease, your fingerprints, grease on your hands. So, uh, you know, the workhorse is made to last. Of course, there's there's a uh, my bar. These are I just got these back from the Chrome Shop. Switched to a uh, Denver Bumper Works, and you can see that reflection. It's unreal. They they do an outstanding job. I'm very happy with a chrome job on these. My past chrome shop, I just all around was not happy with them. Uh, this is, uh, of course, a 36 inch bar. Uh, the Saws Family Script is my own one off. I uh, matched it up as close to the film as I could. And no, I've had guys ask, I will not sell you just that. <laughs> if you want that, you gotta buy the bar with it. Um, I'm working on new bars. My own custom bars that I'm going to try to engrave. Your standard chainsaw bar is so hard that it's almost impossible to engrave on it. But I am working on a new method, and hopefully here soon I'll have it out. And I may go just a, a touch bigger. 36 inches big, but uh, I'm not, not positive that's what they used in the film. I'm almost sure, but I'd like to go a little bit bigger. But there it is, there's the, the Tinkerbell. All my handles, instead of uh, latex like the film, I went with a, with a fabric uh, faux leather. That way you can actually grip it. I'm, I was afraid with latex that it'd get slippery if your hands are sweaty. And as heavy as these saws are, you don't want it slipping out of your hand. Uh, this is the O34 model. Give me just a second here, I'll grab the standard one, one that I haven't converted yet. That's what I usually start with. That's exactly what I start with. Uh, this one is going to be my personal saw. I just haven't had time to get to it because I've been working on customers. But, you know, you can see how filthy dirty they usually come. But, uh... That's what I start with. 
And that's what I end up with. Um, there's three different models of O34s. <coughs> Ones that I consider about 95% correct. One are 98% correct, and then ones that are 100% correct to the film. Um, this one here is one of them that I consider 98%. It's, it's based on years, and the, the differences are so subtle and so small that the normal guy would never know. But uh, I do know, and this one is, aside from the, these two knobs are not correct, but everything else is 100% accurate to the film. So I'm going to change those knobs out, the gas cover, the airbox cover to the right ones. And it'll be exactly like the film when I'm done with it. But uh, if you've got any questions or anything, shoot me an email or uh, head on over to my website. Check you later.